Welcome to my channel. This is Finesse. Um, I'm going to make it kind of quick because I'm not sure how long this is going to take and I don't want it to get too long and boring for y'all. Um, but I've been watching YouTube since I was 18. I'm 25 now and my makeup collection has changed a lot over the years. I've had um, a different setup. Um, I've, I've moved a couple times so I've had a different setup but this desk is kind of small so I'm kind of working, working around it. I'm kind of cramming stuff here and there. But um, let's just get into it. Um, over here, I have my brushes. I have my face brushes, like my blush and contour brushes. And in this jar, I have um, my eyeshadow brushes. Um, and they're mixed. I have a lot from um, BH Cosmetics. I have some from Eco Tools, which is my favorite. I love Eco Tools. Um, and I have a lot of mixed ones from um, like Beauty Box 5 and Ipsy. I, I get those two subscription. Um, services, so I have a lot of mixed brushes, but my all-time favorite is Eco Tools, um, that are from like the drugstore. Um, and down here is like my everyday makeup, like things that uh, I reach for all the time, like my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, like my clear mascara for my eyebrows, my powder, um, just really quick things like my tweezers and just stuff that I want to remember to use before it goes bad and I have to like you know toss it. So there's that. And then my ring light here, um, excuse it being kind of messy, I have tried to clean it in the past and it got really streaky, so now I'm just kind of scared to, to, to mess with it. I want to just, uh, you know, leave it because I don't want to get too messy, um, so, sorry. Um, if anyone, if anyone knows how to clean, um, a ring light, let me know because I would really like to clean it, like, really well. Um, let's skip up, up here. Here's my lipstick carousel. Um, I got this off of Amazon a couple years ago, so I don't know the seller, what their name is. But if you go to Amazon, just type in, um, or eBay, type in lipstick carousel, and I'm pretty sure you'll find one just like this. It spins and everything. Um, and I used to have all my lipsticks coordinated by color. Like, this used to be all my reds. These used to be all my pinks. These used to be all my, like, you know, like, berries. But, um... I've moved around a couple times, so I just, I'm just too lazy now. They're just, like, everywhere. Now i just, you know, having to, like, twist it and try to find whichever one I wanted. So, that's from Amazon. This big girl here, she's from Amazon, too. She's my seven-drawer acrylic set. Um, and I'll get to her in a second because this is, like, the main part of my makeup. Let's skip over here to this little crate. Um, these are all of my palettes, like, my big palettes. I, like, a lot of my, um like ones from Sephora, like my, my high-end ones, and there's a couple ones from BH too, like a couple of uh, um, cheap ones, so there's that, and then these are all of my lip glosses. I have like all my high-end lip glosses in here, high-end lip glosses, and also my hard candy ones. Hard candy is, I think is, um, I think I heard that is hard candy is like Urban Decay's like um, sister, like I think it's a hard candy and Urban Decay are made by the same exact company. So one's just made with a little bit cheaper of a product than the other. So I think Hard Candy is amazing. And that was before I even knew that um, Hard Candy and Urban Decay were like related. I was like, man, this is a really good brand. And then um, I have lots of Urban Decay lip glosses. These are really good. These are like the ones that make your lips plump. They're called the Lip Junkies, I think. I have every single shade in those, and those smell like mint. Um, and I have, like, Tarte. I have, uh, the Balm. I have a lot of stuff in there. And then in here I have, like, my chapsticks and all, like, my drugstore lip glosses, ones I'm not really fond of, or that I just haven't really played around with yet that I need to, like, see if I like a lot or whatever. So there's that. And then down here is, like, my junk drawer where I like my, my moisturizers and just junk that I don't reach for that often. Um, and my setting sprays are up here. Um, I don't know if I should do my, like, open up all my, uh, palettes right now or if I should do that in a separate video. Um, but I have my, one of, I have the second edition of the BH Cosmetics palette. I have, um... A special Occasion BH Cosmetics palette. This is my favorite one. I love that. I have a blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I have two of these foundation and concealer palettes. These are really creamy and amazing. And then I have a Tarte palette. These are really good. I love them. I have a Stila palette in the garden. It's really pretty also. Then I have the Naked palettes 1, 2, and 3. Everyone, I think everyone and their mother have seen these. Um... And then I have a Too Faced um, palette. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. It's in pretty rubble. 
I love this. It's just like amazing, pretty colors. Awesome. And the, the lighting's kind of bad right now, but these are really beautiful colors. This one is like magic. It's like green and brown at the same time. It's like, whoa, what is it? So there, and there, oh my gosh, this gold too. This gold is like from heaven above. It's so beautiful. And then I have um, this Urban Decay palette. This is like a like their best selling ones. Like their best selling shades combined into one palette. So I have that. And I'm not sure what it's called. Um, then I have their other edition of their best selling palettes um, of Urban Decay. And this is what that one looks like. And I these are I love Urban Decay. It's my favorite brand of all time. Like, of all time. And then I have a BH Cosmetics palette down here. Um, it's really, really bright and fun. And then I have a Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. That's really neutral and pretty. Um, I guess we should tackle this big girl. Um, I'll start from the top, I guess. Um, here's all of my um, eyeliners and mascaras. This is, I, I think... I don't really like this drawer that much because it's like not as fun. Um, because I I have all of these, but I, my go-to eyeliner is this one. I have so many backups of these. I have a ton of backups. So these are just like you know, so if I want to try something different or fun or whatever. But I have eyebrow stuff, just mascaras and everything. So that's that drawer. My second drawer, I have my face primers, eye primers, and concealers. Um. And, there, and this is as clean as I can get it. I cleaned my makeup collection before I made this video. And this is as clean as I can get it. Because, um, yeah, it's kind of hard when everything is kind of scrunched in together. So, Hard Candy, CoverGirl, Rimmel, It Cosmetics. Th I haven't tried this, but this looks really good. It's an It Cosmetics concealer. Um, I have all these concealers. Benefit. Um, backups of my favorite concealer. Face primers, um, and then I'll get back in there. My third drawer is my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Um, right now, I'm kind of big into blush, so they're kind of like at the top. But uh, my bronzers are over here. My cream, my cream bronzers and cream um, blushes are back here. That I don't really use that often. But I have a, just a jumble of stuff. I have Hoola, La, uh, Bella Bamba. I have NARS somewhere, I have Hard Candy, I have BH Cosmetics, Wet n Wild, um, Tarte, um, just different ones from Ipsy, NYC, um, I love this one. Just a lot of, these are my favorite, like I told you, I can't, I can't say it enough, Hard Candy is like my favorite brand along with Urban Decay. These are just are so beautiful, they go on beautifully on the skin, um, they're just amazing. So that's my blush drawer. And then this drawer is my um, cream eyeshadow primer um, drawer and my lip liners. I know it's kind of like, what? There are two different things. But um, I I need, like, it's like I need another drawer or something. I, ha I have too much makeup. Um, but I have every single shade in these um, color tattoos. Um, and then I have some backups back here because I, in case they ever, like, don't make them anymore. I want to have backups because these I put these on every day. No matter what eyeshadow I have on, I try to find one that kind of looks in this color range. I love these so much. And then I have a bajillion of these knobby um, lip liners, and I have some more cream eyeshadows right here from like different brands. Um, a couple of Mary Kay, um, just different stuff. So that's that drawer. And then this drawer is like a big jumbled mess. It, this is my like single eyeshadows that kind of don't really have a home. They're kind of just everywhere. I have a lot of Jessie's Girl. These, I love Jessie's Girl. They're so beautiful and pigmented. And then I have some Wet n Wild. Of course some Milani. Some Hard Candy. Some uh, Cover Girl. Um, Cabana Boy. The Bomb. Just lots of stuff like that. But these are my babies. I love these. And then I have another eyeshadow drawer, and these are my eyeshadow palettes. These, I think, on all this side, I think these are all from the uh, dollar store. And I think dollar store um, makeup is underrated because um, 
I think they're really pigmented. Uh, and like sometimes you can find things from Milani or like Rimmel or um, just from like a drugstore brand. They can sometimes be at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. So you never know what you'll find there. Um, but I have all of these eyeshadows from the Dollar Store and I love them. They're so gorgeous. Like oh, just beautiful. And like I don't care. Like it's from the Dollar Store. Like if it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I don't, I do not judge a makeup by its cover. Yes, and is it, I think I judge it by how creamy it is. If if it's a creamy eyeshadow, then you know it's probably good. So I have these from Wet n Wild. I have a few of these palettes. I have a couple of color icons. And I have just a lot of these. NYX, Hard Candy, um, yeah. And then my last drawer is my least favorite drawer of all is foundations. I know foundation is very important to your makeup routine. It's what makes you look finished, I think, other than eyebrows. But I just, I find that it's like, at least with the drugstore, you don't really know your shade. So I, I buy two of the same kind and kind of mix, mix my own shade. Um, but I have like really oily skin, so I never know what's going to work for me or not. So I have these foundations back here. I have some CoverGirl. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite foundation, and I don't think they make it anymore. It's the Nature Lux. Um, the Nature Lux um, foundation, and it smells like cucumber. I have an NYC foundation. Um, Glamouflage from Hard Candy. I love this. And I think this, this um, right here from L'Oreal, the, the Visible Lift foundation is my favorite foundation. It's very... Um, uh, moisturizing and it makes your face look plump and this one from Neutrogena is also the same thing it kind of makes your skin look supple and just plump and just like pretty um, this one's pretty good I like that was it from Maybelline I have like a fake beauty blender which I do not like I don't understand how people like these I might just need to um, get to use it more to know how to to really like it or something um, and I, I I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have any powders except for this. I have this Ben Nye powder. This I find, this I found like my number one powder. I won't ever use anything else but this because this is foolproof. This has worked for me time and time again. So I'm not going to buy like drugstore powders or anything. I love this Ben Nye powder and it's it's just awesome. It keep it, but You have to be careful to not use too much because it can make your face look white. But you can even bake with it, put it under your eyes, you know, on your nose, chin, and you can bake with it and then just wipe it off and it'll, it'll look flawless. Um, have I gone through everything? I'm not sure. I think so. Um, if you guys have any questions about what I showed, about where I got it, or if you want me to show you what's inside of a palette, or if you want me to tell you, like, what, what shade something is, you know, I, I can do that. Um... Please subscribe to see more um, makeup tutorials. I I mean, my channel is about me and my daughter. We make vlogs almost every day. But I um, I like to also do makeup videos too. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of a... I mean, this is what I'm into, but I also like to make vlogs. So, um, if you subscribe, I'll be doing both. So, I'll see you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed my makeup t uh, collection. Bye!